also they also have zip tie tree climbing. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. There's this, this crocodile that turns into a crocodile because I'm not. Oh wow. There's the Cape Thick Mead. Cape Thick Mead down there. That has Thick Meads. Here we have the Black Throated Magpie Jay, which looks, resembles like a giant blue jay. Really interesting. It's got an extremely long parrot-like tail. But if you look at his face, it's like, basically like a giant blue jay. Oh, king vulture. Okay, so that's you up there. You are the king vulture up on that thing. There you are. Nice face waddle. And you just ruffled your feathers. Sorry that I ruffled your feathers. I think that's the Northern Caracara. Which is, I think, what they call the Mexican Eagle. It's also known as the Mexican Eagle, but that's pretty interesting as well. Cougar. Cougar is sleeping. Also known as the Puma, the Florida Panther, or the Mountain Lion. This cat has so many names, it's unbelievable. So here we have the Warthogs playing with the pumpkin. This one looks like a young one. There's another big guy right here. Basically what Pumbaa was based off of. There's one playing in the mud. Oh, that one has huge tusks. Look at that. me of Pumba. It's gonna come over here. Or what's he gonna do? Oh, I guess they get caught a little bit on them. Trying to get the pumpkin. His tusks are too big. So we have three different types of giraffes in here. We have the Maasai giraffe, this two-year-old right here. And we have this giraffe over here who is a reticulated giraffe. 
His name is Rofiki, actually, which is Swahili for friend. And then back there is a Rothschild, Rothschild giraffe, which is actually one of the rarest giraffe species on the planet out of the nine subspecies. They have darker splotches and like white socks on their legs, so they have no splotches on their legs, basically. It's really amazing, actually. Yeah. staring directly at me. So this is like one of the rarest kind of rhinos you could find on Earth, the Indian rhinoceros. They're the ones that have that uh, distinctive like plates of armor looking folds of skin on their body. <laughs> Look at their mouths. Hopefully it's a male and female, so there could be some breeding to help the species out. Pretty scary. Well, that was a pretty good, pretty good time. It was a pretty good zoo, if I should say so. I mean, it's small, but it still has some a cool collection of, you know, cool animals. It's got the 
you know, the, the uh, Indian rhinoceroses, those were pretty cool. Also had the, uh, what's it called, the three different giraffe subspecies in the same, in the same, uh, same habitat. And, uh, yeah, it's, it was pretty good. Hope to return again soon. And, well, this is Ian signing off. And hope you had a good time as well as I did. So, adios.